Hello friends, this is Rajdeep. Welcome to Learning Insight for UG Senior JRF Social Work. And today's video will discuss regarding the quantitative methods of research, qualitative methods of research, and mixed method of research. So let's start. Okay. So we'll see also the comparison between the quantitative, qualitative, and mixed method of research. So there are three type of research design. First, qualitative, quantitative, and mixed method. So what it is what is qualitative research? That quality is qualitative research explore and understanding the meaning individuals or groups ascribe to a social or human problem. That means qualitative research explore and understand the individual or the society or the phenomena or the context. Now in quantitative research is testing objectives theories by examining the relationship among variables. So here it's not exploring, it's more, more about ex examining, examining the relationship among the variables. Now mixed method of research is an approach to inquiry that combines or associates both qualitative and quantitative forms. So mixed method is a combination of both quantitative and qualitative methods of research. Now next, okay, so what are the uh, prime characteristics of quantitative methods or qualitative methods or mixed methods? I will just uh, read it out that quantitative methods are predetermined, instrument based question, performance, attitude, observational, census data, these are quantitative methods. Again, it's statistical analysis. It's a statistical interpretations. Now, while we move to the qualitative, it's emerging method, open-ended question, interviews, observation, document, and audiovisual data. It's a text and image analysis, themes-based analysis, pattern intervention interpretations. So here, statistical interpretation is missing. It's more about subjective analysis, more about quantity, it is more about objective analysis. And qualitative is more about interpretations or it's a subjective analysis. Now, what is mixed methods? The prime characteristic of mixed methods are both predetermined as well as emerging method. Both open and close-ended question used and then multiple forms of data drawing on all possibilities. And statistics and text analysis both are used and across database interpretations. So it's, it's, it's simultaneously do statistical interpretation, bit interpretation as well as pattern interpretation that means the subjective uh, interpretations or the theme based interpretations. Now next, okay, some of the uh, key characteristic and the feature of both quantity, quant quality and the mixed method. So philosophical assumption of uh, quantitative method is is a post positive knowledge claims and quantitative qualitative is constructivist that means you have to construct the knowledge advocacy or participatory knowledge claims now mixed method philosophical assumption is pragmatic knowledge claims now strategies of inquiry in quality quantitative research methods you have to go for experimental design non-experimental design for example surveys but in qualitative uh, strategies of inquiry you have to go for narrative or you have to go for phenomenological study or if you have to go for anthropo uh, ethnographics uh, and then grounded theory then case studies so these are the strategies for inquiry in qualitative now in mixed methods you can go for sequential concurrent and transformative now moving to the next slide that motivations for selection in quantitative test a theory or explanation and then identify factors that influence an outcome and understand the best predict predictors of an outcome. Now whereas in qualitative you need to understand a concept or phenomena due to insufficient or new research 
and then identify unknown variables. In the mixed methods, you have to generalize the findings to a population whilst developing a detailed explanation of a concept or phenomena. So, these are the some basic characteristics of quantity, qualitative and mixed methods. So, I want to give suggestions to you because of your net GRF exam is approaching to you. If you read the question answer, then uh, it's, it's not possible to you to crack GRF because question answer will not repeat in your exam and uh, the expert who said the question answer they will not pick up from your any books or they take the question from the concept only you can see the name every time there are new questions in net and jrf exam paper so how they can how they uh, create these questions because from the concept only they made the new words and create the questions so for your exams for especially for crack G jrf or good marks in net you have to be go through the every concept because concept will help you to crack the net jrf or to identify the right answer uh, from the alternative options then only you can choose the which answer will be most appropriate for your among your options so this is my suggestion as your exam is approaching that's why uh, remember from books and any things uh, the question paper if you see only the mcqs and you will you read the mcqs and remember all the mcqs it not it will not work for that you need to understand every concept as per syllabus not beyond the syllabus or not uh, excluding the syllabus syllabus is very important for your net GRF exam according to syllabus you have to prepare uh, your notes or concept and then then only you if you sit for the exam surely you will crack the GRF even in my Google classroom also I have uh, given the materials as per the concept of your syllabus from your net GRF um, important basis now moving to the some uh, more comparisons between the quantitative and qualitative research the focus of research in qualitative is a quality nature and essence that means it's subjective analysis is not playing with numbers it playing with ideas concept nature all these things now in quantitative it's it's quantify how many how many how much this kind of questions focus is there now philosophical root i already told that is phenomenology symbolic and interaction is a qualitative philosophical root and in quantitative philosophical root are empiricisms logical positivisms now associated phrases is a fieldwork ethnography naturalistic grounded and subjectivity and subjective so these are the philo associate phrases of qualitative research now in quantitative you have to go for experimental research empirical and statistical now goals of investigations so qualitative research is mainly goal for investigation for understanding the description understanding then this describe the thing then discovery then hypothesis generating in quantitative you go for predictions control then confirmations and hypothesis testing so here is the differences qualitative research you go for generating hypothesis but in quantity you have to go for testing the hypothesis now if we talk about the uh, design characteristics is a qualitative is flexible evolving and emergent now in quantitative research the design characteristics are predetermined structure now the setting if you talk about the setting in qualitative research it's a natural setting is conducted in with familiar in quantitative research is unfamiliar and sometimes it's artificial now sample if you take about the sample size in qualitative research it should be small non-random and theoretical sample theoretical sample is more or less you know, if you are satisfied with the respondent then you will stop collecting the data it's, it's based on the principle of saturations now quantitative research you go for large random and representative sampling then data collections so in qualitative research researcher as primary instrument for data and these uh, they take the techniques like interviews observation these are the main tools for data collections 
now in quantitative research instrument are scales test surveys questionnaires and computers these are the instrument for quantitative research now mode of analysis in qualitative research the mode of analysis is inductive and that is done by the researcher while in quantitative uh, research the mode of analysis is deductive and that is that is done by the statistical method now findings uh, of qualitative research is more comprehensive more holistic and expansive while the quantitative research findings are precise narrow and reductionistic so this is all about what uh, i have discussed about quantitative qualitative and mixed method approach so thank you thanks for watching and if you like the content please consider for subscribing and share with your friend do like as well so that i can get motivated and to make uh, and help me to make more videos for you